In this video, I'm going to try and get the best stats for a tall and short coaster and compare them to see which one is the better coaster. But let's start off with the short coaster. So I need to get the best stats possible, but with a very short coaster. So I'm going to make it around, let's make it around 36 feet. And I'm also going to have three trains because, so it should hopefully give us the best stats. So for the short coaster, Airtime Hills is going to be best way possible to get the best stats and let's add a nice double down to see if that will help the stats and there is the short coaster completed it looks pretty decent for only 36 feet so let's see if it can actually get round the track there we go it made it round pretty nice and as you can see in the top right here are the stats for this coaster honestly not bad at all for 36 feet so let's give this coaster a quick pov So obviously, as you can see there, it was quite janky. That's because I didn't smooth up the coaster. Because if I smoothed up the coaster, it would have made the stats worse. So honestly, I'm very happy with how these stats turned out. So let's move on to the tool coaster. And for the tool coaster, I'm going to use this Cophead Strike launch coaster. So to maximize the excitement, we're going to use these LSM launches and just go straight up. So it looks like we're about 663 feet. That is not too bad. Well, it's pretty tall, but let's just go straight into the drop. As you can see here, this is the maximum height for the vertical loop that they give you in game. So I'm going to have to make my own vertical loop. Right now, I'm trying to build a big airtime hill, but it's really hard to get the fear really low due to how fast this coaster is actually going. So as you can see here, here is the tool coaster and it is so much bigger than the short coaster. As you can see here over here on the stats of this coaster, it's over 10,000 feet of track length, which is insane. It has a max speed of 147 miles an hour, which I presume is down the big drop. It definitely pulls some interesting G-forces and the main ratings of this coaster are pretty good with an 8 overall of excitement and a 2.68 of nausea. Not really great fear, it definitely pulls some Gs around the corners. But let's give this coaster a POV.
So as you can see there, oh, over a 600 feet coaster with a drop like that, honestly, wasn't really too bad. But if you compare it to the, the short coaster, the short coaster, I think, wins due to the fear on the tall coaster. And value-wise, obviously, the short coaster takes the win for that as well. But what do you guys think about the tall coaster? Let me know in the comments down below whether you would ride this tall coaster. And I'll see you in the next video. If you've enjoyed the video, why not click on this video? It's free, so why not?